So on the 29th of March, we're changing the clocks for summertime. It's partially a kind of uh, historical hangover because originally there was a campaign where various people would have liked to introduce it for years and years, and what eventually caused it to happen was during the First World War, people wanted to save energy. And it made more sense to people up at the times of day when it was bright. As long as it's bright when you get up, everything is good, but people like to stay up in the evenings. And if it's bright when you're up in the evenings, you don't need to heat the place so much, you don't need to light the place so much. So you could save energy by having more daytime in the evening, especially in summer when the days are long enough to let that happen. The Germans brought it in first during the First World War, 1916, I think, although they may have experimented a little bit before with that. And then in 1916, it was brought in in the UK. And of course, at the time, Ireland was part of the same political unit. And so uh, in Ireland, we started uh, having some time during 1916 for the first time. The reason isn't just for energy anymore. In fact, the energy argument is possibly now slightly spurious. When people try and check, are we saving energy? It's not really clear anymore. You go and look and you know, perhaps there's a half a percent saving, maybe there's a half a percent loss, it's really not so clear. But there are other advantages that people can take advantage of. So for instance, there are some uh, interesting and quite subtle arguments to be made around traffic safety. So a lot of us, the, a lot of driving happens in the evening uh, when people are coming uh, home from work or going out in the evening to take part in some kind of activity. Driving is safer when it's brighter. So having more bright time in the evening is good. Um, but on the other hand, it turns out there's a small effect where we get into a habit of getting up at the right time and going to bed at the right time, and shifting the clock does actually disturb that habit slightly, and they find there's a slight increase in work accidents after this period, so there's some kind of trade-off going on.